So this week I was going to talk about the protests currently going on in Baltimore, but then I realized that literally the least interesting opinion about racism and police violence in America would come from an under 30 white male living in Canada. So I thought I'd talk about something a little more in my wheelhouse, which is entitlement. This week, Canadian author Michael Andace announced that he was joining about a half dozen other writers in boycotting the Penn Gala. This is an annual big literary to-do that's happening next month. The reason for the protest was Penn's decision to honor Charlie Hebdo, the French satirical magazine known for its insensitive and provocative and offensive, and some might say just straight up racist, political cartoons. They were attacked by Islamic extremists earlier this year, you might remember. Penn was planning to honor Charlie Hebdo with an award for courage and freedom of expression. I mean, look, I support freedom of expression, obviously. I also don't support people getting murdered, whether or not they're racist or Islamophobes or whatever. But I also don't like this idea of racism and Islamophobia and hate speech sort of hiding behind the idea of freedom of expression. And I also don't like the idea of major award ceremonies legitimating such things with an award and a standing ovation. I mean, this was said at the time of the Charlie Hebdo attacks, but maybe it bears repeating. Just because this magazine considered itself an equal opportunity offender doesn't make what they did okay. I mean, first of all, there's really no such thing as an equal opportunity offender. Making fun of Jesus and Mohammed in the Western world is not the same thing. It's just not. And thinking that it is, is the essence of Western entitlement. I guess I just don't find that there's anything particularly courageous about ripping on ethnic or religious minorities, or about vaunting the spurious legacy of such a magazine. I mean, again, yes, it's very sad that this attack happened and that these people died. I just don't think that automatically makes them heroes. 